Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where I'll be discussing the 2020 Release Wave 2 features, which came out for early access on August 3rd, 2020. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you'll notice that I discussed part one of the Dynamics 365 customer service updates. And this video, I'll be discussing part two. But before we get to it, let me introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor. I am a Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Feel free to check out my blog at d365goddess.com. Follow me on Twitter at d365goddess or connect with me by LinkedIn by scanning the QR code. Now, what I'm gonna be discussing in part two is really the uh, analytics and insight settings, the legacy scheduling updates, knowledge articles, the new customer service workspace app, and Smart Assist. Now, there's actually two areas in the customer service hub that have the analytics and insights. If you actually scroll down here, you can see that I'm in the service area and we can see here analytics and insights and then we have the reports there that preview. So that's not what I was talking about. I actually wanted to show you if you go here to service management and you scroll down here, you can see here the analytics and inside section as well. And I wanted to talk about this settings area that you see here. Now, before that 2020 release wave, we already had that top part where you see analytics reporting and the share reports button, and we already had that insights section as well. But what's been added now is that suggestion area that you see over here. So if you click on that, you can see here that you can configure, right, all of that, the AI suggested knowledge articles and the similar cases, you can turn that on uh, from here. And then if you scroll down here, you can kind of see the case entity data fields and then the knowledge article data fields as well uh, below. So here you can just go ahead and pick, right, your different fields um, that you wanna use for this. Now, what this does um, is the suggestions, obviously, like I said earlier, is an AI feature which kind of helps resolve cases faster through what we see here, the AI suggested knowledge base articles and similar cases. And that's in that customer service workspace app that I'm gonna talk about uh, a little bit later as well. So that works hand in hand with that as well. So in this release, the legacy scheduling experience has now been moved to the unified interface. So I'm just gonna go and change this to scheduling. And you can see all of those scheduling entities are now available here as well. So you can see facilities and equipment, resource groups, services, service activities as well. Uh, you're gonna have the service ca calendar there as well and then sites. And then obviously you can just go ahead and search for uh, availability in here as well. And here is your scheduling area now. Looks a lot better. So the editing for knowledge base articles has been enhanced in this latest release. So let's just go to knowledge articles and let's just actually open up an existing one. So you should be able to see that the formatting has been enhanced and there's some additional features on there as well. So I, I'm just gonna go ahead and click in here. I can now full screen edit. There are some additional features uh, on here as well. So there's gonna be, there's anchor icons. Uh, there's a change div container, create div container, whatever that is. We also now have, this is I think a pretty big one where we can have, areas here that we can now collapse, right? So let's just say we want to add that right over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna add this collapsible container here. I'm gonna put the procedure in there. There we go. 
And as you can see, now I can just go ahead and say they can collapse that. You can see that in here, obviously, as well. That's my collapsible element right over there. Then I can go ahead and shrink that again. And here is my collapsible item there. And now I can go just go ahead and update that. Now, some of those icons also look a little bit fresher than they did before. So those have been upgraded and you'll also see that the undo buttons used to be right over here. So you can see that they have been moved uh, over here as well. Now let's take a look at a case because I saw, let me actually go ahead and open a case here. I actually saw some updates there as well. So that's this particular area, right? I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off and say travel. Oops, why am I doing that? That's what I want to do. So you can see here now that these icons are now available. So the icons are a little bit fresher as well. And the copy link to article and link this article to case and email customer actions have been removed. So we're now going to have these three, right? With this particular one, link this article to the current record. This is pop out the article in a new window and then email this article to your customer. So it's, it's a little bit cleaner uh, this way as well. Now I noticed that there's actually several new forms. Uh, one particular uh, type, as you can see here, it says account for multi session experience. It's still just a regular main form type, um, but they are now uh, added to the account entity and the uh, contact and also the case entity as well. So again, you can't really miss it. It says here, um, you know, whatever that entity is, case or contact or account for multi-session experience. And I, I first thought that these forms allow us to enable those multi-sessions for certain records in Dynamics 365 for customer service, but that's actually not the case. Um, I talked to Microsoft and they said that these forms really have been cleaned up a little bit by removing the reference panel. So there's going to be more room on the page for the productivity pane. And I'm going to talk about the productivity pane uh, in just a bit when, I, when I'm talking about the customer service workspace app that is currently in preview. So basically what this means is that when you're using that customer service workspace app, you don't have to use these multi-session experience forms. You can use, you know, your quote unquote regular forms that you are always using. This is just an easy setup. And, and again, they were saying that they were cleaned up and there was just a little bit more room on those forms. Uh, and that's why they created them, but you don't have to use those forms. Now, the other thing that I noticed is that there's also a new dashboard. That's the customer service agent dashboard, which is also used in that customer service workspace app. Okay, so let's take a look at that customer service workspace app. Again, keep in mind that this is a preview feature, right? So it's not ready for production, but it's kind of cool that what they did here. So let me just go ahead and where is it? Customer service workspace. Now, when you log into the app, you should see that new, where is it? Customer service dashboard. This is the one that's new. If you don't see it, you can just go ahead and select it like I just did. And then you can set that as default, obviously, if that's what you want to do. Now, you, you also see that I have this tab here on this side, but because what this allows me to do this app is to really have multiple sessions going on. So the way this works is if I'm holding down this shift on my keyboard and then I click here on a case record. So let me just hit shift and then click on that case. You'll see here that my new session has started. It will also open up 
that case record directly here uh, on my main screen or whatever you want to call that in my form. So that's the way it's supposed to be acting. If I click here on home now, it takes me back to my home screen. Now, if I want to create, open up another record, let's say I have an activity here that I want to open up as well. Again, I hold down my shift key. I click on that. It will load that in my form. Right. And I also have it now here as a separate session as well. Again, if I want to go back to my case, I can do that very quickly, right? Navigating back and forth, or I can go and click back on my home button as well. Now, the other thing what I can do is here at the top, if I wanted to open up any of those records on the top here, I can just hold down the control key. So let's say I want this account record to be opened up top, hold down the control key, click on it, hold it down. Now click on that link. And as you can see, that will now open up in that top tab that we have over here. Obviously we can add other records here as well, right? If we wanna to go to cases, cues, activities, etc., knowledge articles, I can just go ahead and click on that. And then as you can see, that just opens in a new tab as well. So currently the only two apps that allow for these multi sessions are the app that you're looking at right now, the customer service workspace app, which is currently a preview and the omni channel app as well. So there is currently not a way to enable multi session behavior in other apps as well, but Microsoft is working on this. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a date yet of when this will be available, but today it's not. Now, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I actually opened here this case earlier, and then you can see that smart assist pane, which is on the right side of my screen, that little arrow that you see over there. So I can expand that to show that smart assist pane, and I'm just gonna go ahead and and open that up. So what you saw earlier when I was enabling the similar case suggestions and the knowledge article suggestions, this is where that's going to show up, right? In that smart assist. Now currently you can see there are no suggestions here, but this is where that would show up. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. Be sure to check back again next week for another new video and then I will be discussing all of the new features in Dynamics 365 field service. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.